Veal, palm, sandwiches. A constant companion to the characters of The Sopranos. Eaten by all and sundry throughout the show's seven seasons. From the main man, Tony Soprano, to the federale, Agent Harris, who despite contracting a stomach bug in Diarrhea Stan, still manages to make a trip to New Jersey to sample a delectable veal palm sub. Actually, that's why I'm here. I've been dying for a Satriali's veal palm hero. Only one character, noted for his Manson lamps, displays a negative reaction to this most agreeable meal. Veal parmesan sandwich. Fuck you. Then again, can you really trust the culinary opinions of a man who enjoys consuming tripe? In any case, the source of the finest veal palm sandwiches we are privy to in The Sopranos is Satriali's, named after old man Satriali, whom we meet very briefly in a particularly traumatizing and illuminating flashback of Tony's. Satriali's wears many hats, pork store, place of business, and conveniently equipped location to cut up the human carcasses that are an inevitable consequence of the mob lifestyle. Aside from looking delectable, you'll notice from this still that Satriali's provides scallopini for the paltry cost of only $1.99. Even adjusted for inflation, that represents excellent value. Enough chit chat. Here is how to make a Satriali's veal palm sandwich. First, you'll need your ingredients flour, dried oregano, garlic, egg, parsley and basil, plum tomatoes, veal, salt and pepper, parmesan, mozzarella cheese, olive oil, and of course, a bread roll of some kind. You'll also need breadcrumbs, but I forgot to film those. This, this is very disappointing. The sauce, or gravy if you prefer, can be prepared first. Dice garlic, or slice it thin with a razor blade. Add a little olive oil to the pot and add the garlic. Allow to brown before adding the plum tomatoes. Add dried oregano and stir. Leave to simmer for 20 to 30 minutes while you prepare the veal. We're going to coat the veal with a layer of breadcrumbs to create a crispy finish. It's all about the contrast, the crispness of the breadcrumbs, the smoothness of the veal. Take a bowl of flour and coat the veal. Now whisk an egg in a separate bowl. Generously cover the veal in egg. Now take a bowl of breadcrumbs and add a little diced parsley. Dip the egg covered veal in the bowl, making sure the breadcrumbs cover it entirely. Add olive oil to the hot pan and fry the veal to brown off the breadcrumbs. Just a minute on each side. Once it's nice and brown, place it on a baking tray and pour the sauce over the top. Slice up mozzarella and place it on top of the sauce laden veal. Bake the whole lot in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Prepare your bread for the arrival of the veal and have your grated parmesan and basil at hand. Where do you get this bread? The bread museum? Once the veal is baked and the mozzarella has started to brown, transfer the veal to the bread. Dust generously with parmesan and finish with basil leaves. There we have it, the succulent Satriali's veal palm sandwich. Dare I say it, I think old man Satriali himself would be proud. In all seriousness, this sandwich is delicious, and I'd highly recommend trying it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to sit outside the pork store to eat this and conduct important business meetings. Bye-bye.